Something funny happened on the way to making this video for you. I got a text message and it asked, what do you want for lunch tomorrow? And I texted back, I would love something light. I don't like mayonnaise or mustard. In that moment, I realized that the work that I had done decluttering had impacted my life. Hi, my name is Dorita Kors. I'm also known as the Space Doula. I'm a certified practitioner of interior alignment, a certified clutter clearing coach, and a soul coaching practitioner. Several months ago, I realized that my finances weren't flowing. They seemed like they were at a standstill. And then all of a sudden I realized there was a huge pile of invoices, receipts, that I had not put into my accounting software. So I asked myself, why'd you stop looking at that? Why did you stop inputting the data into the accounting software? Why did you start ignoring the invoices? And the obvious was like, oh, I didn't have time. And then the more I didn't have time, the bigger that pile got and the longer the process was going to take. That was what I told myself. But what I realized was the real story is I was afraid to look at my numbers. In 2020, I had, I had had my best year ever in my business. And I was afraid that I couldn't repeat that in 2021. So in March, seven months ago, I stopped looking at my finances. And I realized that is what had put a brakes on the flow of my abundance, the flow of my income. So what I did is committed to myself to going through that pile. And it was a big pile, right? And so often we, we become in, uh, intimidated by that. And I was like, no, I just need to take one step at a time. And so the very first step was figuring out the password to the accounting software and then figuring out how to download things again because I had forgotten how to do it from seven months ago. So then what I did is I inputted all of the expenses. And I was like, wow, I'm halfway there. And then I noticed that I stopped. And I realized that story was still playing in my mind. I could tell you everything that I had given out, everything that I had paid for, but I couldn't tell you what I had received. Because so many times when people ask me, what do you want to eat? I don't care, I'm good, whatever you want. What do you want for Christmas? I'm good. Constantly saying, I don't need anything. And that was blocking my abundance, blocking me from receiving. So when I realized I was still doing that, I went through all of the income and I put it into the accounting software. It took me a while, but I did just a little bit and a little bit and a little bit until the day came when I could hit that profit loss button and I could see all of the expenses and all of the income. And you know what? I've already made more money than I've made last year in my business. The story that I was telling myself, the fear that I had was actually not true, but I needed to declutter. I needed to let go. I needed to acknowledge and then let go of that story. So what about you? Is there something grabbing your attention in your home? Is there something that's piling up? Is there some clutter that you need to attend to? As we say in the School of Interior Alignment, our homes are a mirror of our lives. And when we shift one, we shift the other. So what's one action step you can take today looking at that clutter? And what's one thing you can let go of? You don't have to tackle it all at once. My first step was figuring out the password. So what's yours? I promise you it will impact your life and get that abundance flowing again. Mwah. Much love to you.